Hello students, welcome to the class of Maths in 2 minutes and today we are going to see the multiple choice questions on it is matrices and these are the very very important for the gate net set examination as well as of the computer examination and we are going to see the two examples that is 17 and 18 on this matrix. Example number 17 is the characteristic equation of 3 cross 3 matrix P is defined as this one. If I denote the identity matrix then the inverse of P will be given by. So here four options are given to you. I will use here it is Cali Hamilton theorem. What is Cali Hamilton theorem? It is state that every square matrix satisfies its own characteristic equation. This is where having the characteristic equation. So I can replace this lambda by this matrix P. So we get PQ plus P square plus 2P plus it is what I equals to the null matrix 0. Now after this inverse of P is asked to you. Just multiply this whole equation by the P inverse. We will get so what we get here is P inverse P cube that will be it is P square then P inverse P square it will be P then P inverse P it is I and then plus P inverse I it will be P inverse equals to the P inverse multiplied to the null matrix it will be a null matrix. So P inverse will be minus of this quantity because we take this to the left. So if you observe here option D is correct option. Example number 18 are the following vectors linearly dependent? It was asked to you and four options are there. They are dependent, independent, can't say and none of this. So to check these vectors are independent or dependent for that we will use the concept of rank. By using this vector I will form a matrix it is what 3 2 7 then after that I write 2 4 it is 1 then it is 1 minus 2 and 6. Now by using the row transformation I will convert this 3 by 3 matrix into the upper triangular and then I will find out the rank and then according to the rank we will define the vectors are linearly dependent or not. So after applying this row transformation we get this equivalent matrix and this upper triangular matrix and if you observe here what is the rank of this matrix it is 2 because number of non-zero rows are here it is what 2 and number of non-zero rows defined there is rank of given matrix. So here rank is what here we are having 2 and what is the number of vectors we are having it is 3 vectors that is n equals to 3. So we can say here r is less than the n that, that is rank is less than the number of vectors. So therefore so therefore we say that the given vectors are it is dependent and if rank is equals to it is n that time we say that the vectors are linearly independent. So option A is correct here. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you get something from it, please like and share the video with your friends and please do subscribe to the channel Mathematics Ganesh Sangraha.